This arcade behind me is only open to people with disabilities. Today we're going to find out why, how they help people with disabilities to become the best version of themselves through going to arcades, and finally, are they one of the most inclusive providers in Western Sydney? Come with me, let's check it out. All right, cool. I am joined by Ibrahim from Special Adventure Center yes, in yes, Granville. Yes. So yes. Just before we jump in, do you want to tell everyone a little bit about what this is and what the vision was for, I guess, this place? Mind you, this place before we renovated and all, it was actually a junkyard and we've turned it into this today. Who we are is, we're an NDIS provider and an aged care provider. So what we do basically is we bring uh, disabled people of all ages to this center doesn't matter what disability, doesn't matter, doesn't matter what age they are. We're more than happy to have them here. Yeah. And we have basically ball pits, as you can see behind me. We've got a projector for that ball pit where they play. We've got a trampoline. Uh, we've got a little classroom here. We've got an air hockey table. Yeah. We've got a pool table. And we've got an arcading section we're about to show you guys. Yeah, awesome. Cool. So, before we do, let's have a look. So, with this ball pit, there's a lot. Is it turned on? Can we turn it on? I know you yeah, showed me a little bit before. On. I don't know how to do this as a, how you do this as a kid. The kids like, have more patience than us, mate. The kids have more patience now. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah All right, that's enough of the ball pit. So over the back, we've got the rock climbing wall. It's like a giant McDonald's playground, but like significantly better. Wow. All right, cool. So this what's this good. one here? Right, Is this... So this one here, say they're bored. Yeah. They want to go on Google. Yeah. They want to search something. They yep. want to watch something. They want to learn something. You name it. Click on Google. Type in what do you, what do you want to find. Oh, okay. So they're sort of like giant yeah, iPads, just a little, so little hub kind of thing. Uh, this here, this is pretty good. This is an air hockey table, but it's not just an air hockey table. You want to flip it and it becomes... Ah. Oh. Right, this is one of my favorites too. Yep. Of course, because it's more of the, um, the mature game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here, people actually love this because of the design. They, someone actually called once and said, who's your carpenter? <laughs> I'm like, what? I actually, I was confused. Yeah. He's like, you have like a tree building thing. I'm like, what tree building? It's, like, it's, it's got books on it. I'm like, ah, it's this. All right, so, let's go into let's the arcade. On, let's move on. I'll talk a lot. So this cafe. Here, this cafe is basically where every kid can cook what they want, learn to cook what they want. Also, on top of that, what I find best about this is when they're finished playing and they're exhausted, they come here, ask for something, we grab it for them, they go to the cinema room, they relax. Cinema room? Yes, the cinema room. We're oh, gonna I have didn't to go tell check you it guys. Out. My bad. The Stay to the room. end and you can you can see the cinema room. Let's get to the active stuff. Shall yeah, we? cool. Here, cool. I didn't tell you about it, did I? No. This is a dinosaur. Oh, it moves. With a camera. Here. These are the phone app. I call these the phone app yep. arcade arcade games. Yeah. It's, not it's, it's not what they really call it. <laughs> I call it the phone app arcade games. Why? This is on your phone, that's on your phone, the other one's on your phone. Sometimes yeah. I've been actually working, working. <laughs> my bad, hope my boss doesn't see this. <laughs> I'd look at this, I'd be like, okay, what are we doing today? I'll just lose track. This is my favorite. This is actually my favorite. Come through guys, come through. How good there is you can go this? all the way, mate. Oh, mate, you I need one of these in my house. Let's bring you guys to... So this is the coolest This thing. is sauna the sauna and spa. Hydrotherapy pool slash sauna, spa. Oh, no, the sauna's in there and the spa's here. I get mixed up between sauna and spa always. This here, let's pull it up. Pool. You can feel the steam coming out. It's, 30, it's at 30 to 35 degrees, this water. How does someone in a wheelchair get into the pool with all of that? <laughs> There's an answer for Chrissy that. Chrissy boy, answer that, mate. answer <laughs> that. I wish I can demonstrate. I was going to demonstrate on Chris, but he doesn't want that. <laughs> we basically hook them here, and then whoever's sitting on it, we fold this on there so they're secured. And when they're strapped on, this remote, lift them up just so they're above this. Then we lower it, and we bring it all the way down, 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 and get a view of that. He goes all the way up and around. Drop in the pool. There we go. So we strap this on this. This remote, you can lift up or down. And when you go around, you can easily, when they're in that strap, drop them in, take the strap off and get them onto a floaty or depends on the disability. So this is the dry sauna and the steam sauna. So How do you go here. with a wheelchair in here though? Like it would fit, yeah, but would do fit. the batteries not explode on a wheelchair if they got too a very hot? good question. This is where we bring the hoist. Ah. 
Should I turn it on? Nah, I don't, nah, want, nah. To, I don't want to get wet. Anyway, and there will be CryoCare coming soon to partner oh, up with us. I've heard about it, it's meant to Cryo be. CryoCare, I've tried it, by the way. So here, guys, is the sensory room. Yes, the sensory room. You've seen where we were all day today. Yeah. They get exhausted sometimes, yeah. I understand. So we thought they can have a nap and they can zone out to such awesome scenery. So they've designed this room specifically for kids with autism, yeah. they find a sense of relaxation in here too, yeah, which is pretty really good cool. and it's needed. This is the last room I got to show you guys. The reason why I chose this as the last is because it's my, one of my favorite. All right guys, just wrapped up with Chris. Very happy to have you guys here. Have a good one. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a complete day out spending all that time, all that hard work and sweaty playing some games without checking out some of the local Western Sydney food. So, Eljana is one of the local haunts that Ibby told us about. So, um, we're going to go in and check out um, Western Sydney delicacies and see what it's all about. Can I please get the water chicken plate? Can I get chip as well, extra chicken salt? And that comes with bread and garlic sauce too, doesn't it? Yeah. Already, yeah, cool. Excellent, thank you. You guys bring that out or we wait? Oh, okay, perfect, thanks. Thank you. This is the, this is the best of what Western Sydney has to offer. So after a hard day at the arcade, you've got to try it, brother. Look at this, look how much salt they've put on it. Oh, pickles, oh, we've got to try the pickles. Mm. I now see why I recommend them. Fuck, those chips are good. Mm. Chicken food. Done. I did it for you guys. That is definitely one of Western Sydney's local favourites. So if you are a person living with a disability or you are a provider or even support coordinator that thinks this would be a good day out for your participants, definitely check it out. Certainly um, Eljana and Western Sydney too, you have to hit it after. 